Friend, friend, God has a surprise for you today. It brings a message that reveals something incredible about your life. After this blessed revelation, our Father will open all the doors that need to be opened and will also close those that have blocked your life for a long time. This video did not appear to you by chance. God knows exactly what you need, and today He has a miracle in store for you. Please don't disappoint our Father. Listen to everything He has to say until the end. This will be unique, and you may not have another opportunity like this. Whenever you hear the word or receive or something that seems directed at you, comment, I receive, Father, so that grace begins to be part of your life. Today is your day. God has something extraordinary for you. He saw your suffering, and that is why you are here today. He knows every challenge you faced, every sleepless night and every tear that fell in moments of loneliness and despair. But today, He is ready to transform your story to show that every moment of pain was the basis for the blessing that is to come. God does not ignore the cry of His children. He is attentive to your cry, and His answer is already on its way. This is the day when God's promises will begin to manifest in your life in ways you never imagined. Prepare yourself for an impact that goes beyond your expectations. The struggles you have faced are about to be offset with blessings that will not only meet your needs but will also overflow, impacting the lives of many people around you. God is opening the floodgates of heaven for you. Blessings of health, prosperity, peace and joy are being released. He is restoring what was lost and multiplying what was sown in tears. Today, the Father is reaffirming His love for you, showing that not a second of your suffering was in vain. Everything had a purpose, and God's purpose is always greater and deeper than we can understand. At the end of this video, you will discover exactly which areas of your life will be impacted by the powerful hands of the Lord. Believe that today you were chosen to be blessed in an extraordinary way. God, in His sovereignty, chose this very moment to lift you above the storms and bring a blessing that will redefine the course of your life. The circumstances you face are no greater than God's power to transform them. Every obstacle is being used by Him to forge in you a strength that only trials can produce. He is walking beside you, guiding you every step of the way, and He will never abandon you. Perhaps the weight of debt is weighing you down, discouraging you and taking away your hope for a prosperous future. But I'm here to tell you that this is not the end of your story. God is listening to your struggle, and He has a deliverance plan that will not only ease your financial burden but also restore your hope and renew your vision for the future. God sees every moment of anguish and hears every cry for help. And today, He is intervening powerfully, moving the pieces behind the scenes, working through circumstances, and lining up resources to bring relief and restoration to your financial life. The truth is that God is an infallible provider. His promises to meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus are not empty words, but eternal truths on which you can build your life. So even in the midst of debt and financial uncertainty, I encourage you to trust in God's faithfulness. Get ready to witness a financial miracle. God can open doors that no one can close and close doors that no one can open. Be open and receptive to the unexpected ways He can solve your financial problems. It could be a new job, a forgiven debt, an unexpected investment opportunity, or even an act of generosity from someone moved by the Holy Spirit to help you. Now, I invite you to focus on the specific areas of your life where you most want to see God's hand at work. It could be your health, your family, your studies, your career or your finances. 
God knows each of these needs before we even talk about them, but he wants us to present them with faith and expectation. Think of each area of your life as a field ready to be cultivated. God is the ultimate farmer, and he is ready to work the soil, plant seeds of hope, and water them with constant blessings. Believe that transformations are on the way. Every investment of faith you make is not in vain. You were chosen by God, created with a divine purpose, and destined to live a life of abundance and fulfillment. Consider this moment as a true connection with the divine. Let's pray together now, asking for God's guidance in all areas of your life. Repeat after me, God, guide me in all areas of my life. Open the doors of opportunities and close those that are not for my good. Lead me along the path of prosperity and success. Feel every word, because when we talk to God, He not only listens, He also responds. Believe that God is hearing your prayer right now and that He is acting. Imagine the doors that will lead you to a deeper relationship with Him opening. Envision doors that lead to vibrant health, a successful career, and personal growth. God is working to remove obstacles from your path and illuminate the best paths forward. By saying this prayer together, we are placing our trust in the God who makes the impossible become reality. I also ask that you keep your heart open to recognize God's answers. Often, He responds in unexpected ways, it could be advice from a friend, a new job opportunity that arises, an idea that suddenly pops into your mind, or even an internal shift that renews your passion and purpose. God is creative in His responses, and He knows exactly what you need and when you need it. Receive your miracle and declare with faith in the comments, God is with me and is transforming my story. As you walk the path God is laying out for you, remain firm in faith and persistent in your prayers. Remember that God has promised to be with us every day until the end of time. He never abandons us, and His presence is a constant guarantee of safety and peace. In the next few minutes, you will discover what God specifically wants for you. Now, I want you to pay attention to the parable of Peter and John. Imagine a peaceful village where there was a man named John known for repairing chairs and tables. He was not only known for his meticulous work, but also for his constant gratitude and smile, no matter the situation. One day, a young man from the village named Pedro, tired of the pressures and dissatisfactions of modern life, decided to visit Mr. Joao. He wanted to learn the trade, but also discover the secret of that simple joy that the old carpenter demonstrated. Upon arriving, Mr. Joao proposed an agreement, before I teach you how to repair chairs, you will help me for a week, and each day you must tell me at least one thing you are grateful for. In the first few days, Pedro had difficulties. On the first day, he was grateful for lunch. In the second, for the comfortable bed in Joao's house. As the days went by, Pedro began to notice things he hadn't noticed before, the good smell of breakfast, the beauty of a sunny sky, the calming sound of rain on the roof. By the end of the week, he already saw the world differently. Mr. Joao then said, see how different life looks when we are grateful? Gratitude is the best tool you can have. It mends the heart and makes life lighter. Pedro returned to the city not only with the ability to repair furniture, but with a new way of seeing life, lighter and happier, knowing that daily gratitude is the key to a truly abundant life. Just like Peter, we should be more grateful in our daily lives. Gratitude is not just a passive response to the good things that happen to us, but an active attitude that transforms the way we relate to the world around us. When we start to be grateful, even challenges become opportunities for growth and learning. 
This does not mean that problems disappear, but our approach to facing them changes. Being grateful also improves our relationships. When we express gratitude to the people around us, whether for small favors or big gestures, we strengthen our bonds with them. Gratitude makes us recognize the value of others and appreciate every gesture of kindness and every word of support we receive. Gratitude also has a profound impact on our mental health. Studies show that people who practice gratitude regularly have a lower risk of suffering from anxiety and depression. This happens because gratitude helps us focus on the positive, reducing the effects of worries and fears on us. And it doesn't stop there, gratitude brings us closer to God. By being grateful, we recognize that everything we have and everything we are comes from Him. This strengthens our faith and our trust in divine providence. Giving thanks is a form of worship, a way of telling God that we trust His plan for our lives. Now, imagine if each of us started the day being grateful for at least one thing. It can be something simple, like breakfast on the table, or something as meaningful as the company of someone we love. This simple action has the power to completely transform our day. Now, think about expanding this practice throughout your life. Be grateful for your health, even if it is not perfect. Be grateful for your work, even if it doesn't always bring joy. Be grateful for your family, even on days when there are disagreements. And watch how this attitude transforms not only your life, but also the people around you. I invite you to do this now. Leave in the comments what you are grateful for today. Remember that gratitude is a choice. We can choose to live complaining about what we lack, or we can choose to be grateful for what we already have. This choice makes all the difference. Gratitude opens the doors to a life of true abundance, a life that reflects the goodness and generosity of our God. Receive the transformative grace of gratitude into your life. God wants to remind you of something very important. It's as if he whispers in your ear, beloved son, beloved daughter. I want to share with you an essential truth about the power of resilience and rebirth in your life. Often you face storms that seem never-ending, but it is precisely in these moments that my grace manifests itself in a more evident and transformative way. I want you to understand that each difficulty is like the ground being plowed before receiving new seeds. Just as the earth needs to be turned so that the new can sprout, its challenges are opportunities for renewal and growth. Every moment of pain carries with it the potential for new strength, new wisdom, a new understanding of who you are and what you are capable of overcoming with God's help. Remember, my son, my daughter, that my presence is not only to comfort you, but also to empower you. I have equipped you with an inner strength, forged in the depths of your soul, that reveals itself in times of trial. Just as gold is refined by fire, your faith and character are purified with each challenge you face. I am calling you to look beyond immediate appearances and see the potential for a new beginning in every ending. Just as trees lose their leaves in autumn and appear dead in winter but hold the promise of renewal in spring, so too is the season of your life. What appears to be the end is only preparation for a new awakening. Do not fear endings, for they are preludes to new beginnings. Accept each ending as preparation for something bigger and better that I have placed in your path. The cycles of your life, with their ups and downs, have been carefully designed to lead you to a deeper understanding of my faithfulness and your purpose. Embrace each phase of your journey with faith and hope. Keep your heart open to the transformations that are happening behind the scenes. I am with you every step of the way, whispering courage into your spirit and filling you with strength to face the new day. 
With each dawn, it is my hand that lifts you up and my voice that encourages you to move forward. Walk with the knowledge that you will not only survive the storms, but you will emerge from them stronger, wiser, and more aligned with the purpose I have for your life. With me, every end is just the beginning of something wonderful. I am shaping a glorious and prosperous future for you, step by step, day by day. Believe this, because it is with this faith that you will be greatly blessed. Comment now, I believe and trust you with all my heart, Father. Beloved son, beloved daughter, the path that previously seemed confusing will begin to become clear like the crystal clear waters of a fountain. Where there was darkness, there will now be bright light. I know every curve, every corner that life has imposed on you. I saw every moment of uncertainty when it seemed like every step took you further from peace. But I, your eternal Father, am here not only to assist, but to straighten the crooked paths and smooth the roads you have traveled. Open your heart right now and say with me, Lord, I am ready for your financial blessing. Believe in these words, son, daughter, in the midst of a world that screams hopelessness and fear. I remain the perennial source of unshakable faith and never-ending hope. My promises are yes and amen, and victory over your financial life is decreed, signed by my love and my infinite grace. May this video be more than words, may it be a living testimony of what is to come in your life. Not just a vague hope, but a concrete certainty that the doors of prosperity are opening for you right now. While the world offers temporary and uncertain solutions, I offer you a solidity that lasts for eternity. In store for you is a storehouse of blessings so abundant that it will transform not only your financial situation, but your entire being. Prepare to live a reality where your faithfulness and trust in me will bear tangible fruits. I'm not just talking about money, but about wealth that feeds the soul, restores dignity, and brings true joy. The wealth that I offer you transcends the numbers in a bank account. It manifests in peace of mind, restored relationships, renewed health, and opportunities that blossom from unexpected places. Right now, I'm rearranging the scenarios of your life to show you that, with me, the impossible becomes possible. I am removing the barriers that impede your advancement and paving a new golden path for you to walk safely, knowing that every step is blessed and guided by me. Receive this blessing, my brother, my sister. I want you to listen carefully and allow these words to sink deeply into your heart. Believe the promises of our Heavenly Father. Just as it is written in Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 25, a covetous person provokes quarrels, but whoever trusts in the Lord will prosper. Let me remind you that the Lord's words are not just letters printed on a page. They are living seeds, which when planted in a believing heart, germinate and grow into robust trees of faith and hope. Every promise contained in Scripture is a testimony to God's eternal love, His unchanging compassion, and His unshakable power. Now look at your life, not with the eyes of fear or uncertainty, but with the vision of faith. See each challenge as an opportunity for God's promises to manifest in tangible and powerful ways. God is not a man to lie, nor a son of man to repent. What he promises, he is more than capable of fulfilling. When you face moments of doubt, remember this truth, God has already prepared the way before you. He has seen every obstacle, every challenge, and every victory. And more than that, he promises to be with you. His presence is constant, and his strength is perfect, especially in moments of weakness. So don't just listen to these words, but take them with you. Meditate on them day and night. Make them your truth, because they are truly God's voice for you. And when life's storms come, and they will come, hold on to God's promises. 
They will be your anchor, your light at the end of the tunnel, your comfort on cold nights. Furthermore, our Father wants to see your action. He wants each of us to take concrete steps toward the promises He has made to us. This does not mean simply waiting for everything to fall from the sky, but acting with faith. When God promised the land to Joshua, He said, Be strong and courageous. These words were accompanied by a promise, but also a condition. Joshua needed to act, walk, and fight. In the same way, each of us has lands to conquer, dreams to fulfill. Our journey may be full of obstacles, but the Father has already given us everything we need to overcome His promise, His presence, and His power. What He asks in return is our obedience and our faith to take the necessary steps, even when we can't see the entire path ahead. When we act moved by faith, driven by God's promises, we open doors for Him to perform miracles in our lives. Faith is not passive, it is an active force that drives us to do the extraordinary. It is the faith that transforms deserts into fertile fields, that brings into existence that which does not yet exist, that moves mountains and breaks the chains of limitations. Therefore, I encourage you today, do not conform to life as it is, if you are suffering or feel limited. Rise up in faith, take hold of God's promises for your life and start taking action, whether in your personal, professional or spiritual life. God has more for you than you can imagine. Small steps of faith can lead to big miracles. Get ready to witness the power of God transforming your life. Today's difficulties are just preparation for tomorrow's victories. And when those victories come, remember to look back and see how far you've come with God by your side. Celebrate each victory, whether big or small, and keep moving forward, always trusting in the promises of our Heavenly Father. Amen? Receive this grace and prepare to experience the blessings that are coming into your life. Now, I invite you to act. Click on the link in the pinned comment and purchase your devotional, A Story of Miracles and Transformations. A story of change is waiting for you. I want to remind you that, when you click on the link, you will be taken to a page with the same security technology used by the largest banks in the world. And, when you complete your purchase, the devotional will be sent instantly to your email. If you are determined to make this transformation part of your life, comment now, I'm going to do it today. Don't miss the chance to join this prayer community that grows every day. Activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of God's messages. If a video has now appeared on your screen, know that this is no coincidence, you have been chosen to receive a new blessing, destined for a few. Don't miss this opportunity. Tap the video and find out. As you continue this journey, it is important to reflect, how have you acted in the face of the difficulties that arise? Have you fully trusted in God or, at times, do you allow discouragement to take over? In moments like these, it is essential to remember that faith is not a simple emotion, it is a living force, which connects us directly to the greater purpose that God has for our lives. With each step we take in faith, we are making room for God to work in powerful ways. But faith needs action. How many times have you stopped acting out of fear or insecurity? God is calling you to take the next step, the one you may have been hesitant to take. We often look at difficulties and think, this is too big for me. But remember that there is no greater obstacle than the power of God. When we make ourselves available to Him, every difficulty becomes an opportunity for us to grow and mature. Think about the times you overcame something that seemed impossible. How did the victory that came after the challenge feel? The feeling of overcoming is one of the greatest gifts that God can give us. And now, He is preparing you for the next big victory.
Do you believe this? The world tells us that we need to be strong all the time, that we cannot show our weaknesses. But the truth is that it is precisely in our moments of weakness that God shows his strength. When we feel lost, when doubt invades us, that's when God's grace comes into action. And you, how have you dealt with your weaknesses? Have you allowed yourself to place them in God's hands, trusting that he can transform them into strengths? Or do you sometimes try to carry the weight alone? There is a verse that reminds us that God's grace is sufficient for us, and that his power is made perfect in our weaknesses. What a wonderful promise! Knowing that we don't need to be perfect, that we don't need to have all the answers. What God desires is a heart willing to trust, to believe that, even when everything seems uncertain, he is working for us. Have you ever stopped to think about how many times God supported you when you thought you couldn't take it anymore? When everything around you seemed to fall apart, he was there, holding your hand, making sure you didn't fall. How about, right now, taking a break and thanking God for all these moments? Sometimes we are so focused on problems that we forget to see God's hand at work. It's easy to look at the storm and feel afraid, but God calls us to look at him. Just as Jesus calmed the storm at sea, he can calm the storms in your life. But you have to trust, you have to let him guide the boat. Are you leaving Jesus in charge or are you trying to go against the tide alone? When we surrender to God, we surrender not only our victories, but also our failures, our fears and our uncertainties. And it is in this act of surrender that true peace finds us. Have you ever experienced this peace? The one that comes when we finally let go of the reins and let God guide? If not yet, what's stopping you from doing so now? Life with God does not mean the absence of problems, but it means that in the midst of them, we are sure that we are not alone. God never promised us that we would not go through tribulations. He promised that he would be with us through them all. And there is nothing more comforting than knowing that, even when the world turns its back on us, God is there, firm, supporting us. He sees every tear, hears every prayer, and knows exactly what you need before you even ask. Isn't this an incredible demonstration of his love for us? Many times, we ask God to take away our problems, but he wants us to go through them, because that is where he strengthens us. Think about it, what did you learn from your biggest difficulties? How did they shape you, make you a stronger, wiser person? If you had never faced challenges, would you have the same faith you have today? Battles transform us, bring us closer to God, and teach us to trust Him in ways that victories never could. Every scar we bear is a testimony of God's grace in our lives. How about seeing your scars with pride, as a reminder of everything you've overcome? And speaking of overcoming, how many times have you thought you couldn't, but somehow found the strength to move on? This was not by chance. God was carrying you. You may not have realized it at the time, but now, looking back, can you see how he supported you, even when you thought you were alone? It's wonderful to see how God works in our lives in quiet, subtle, but profoundly powerful ways. Now, think about the areas in your life where you need divine intervention. What's weighing you down? Where do you feel you need God's hand to guide you? Maybe it's your finances, your health, your relationships. Whatever it is, remember that God is already working on it. Even if you don't see it yet, he is moving the pieces, aligning everything for the right time. And while that moment doesn't come, he is preparing you. Waiting can be difficult, but it is in waiting that faith is strengthened. You may be wondering, but how long will I have to wait? And that's a valid question. All of us, at some point, question God's timing. But the truth is that God's timing is perfect. 
He is not late, he is not early. He acts at exactly the right time. Do you believe this? It can be difficult to accept when we are eager for answers, but if we look back, we will see that everything happened at the exact time it was supposed to. Think about the times you really wanted something, but only received it after a while. When it finally arrived, wasn't it the perfect time? Now, think about what you have in store today. In what area of your life do you need God's intervention? What if, instead of focusing on waiting, you decided to trust that God is already working? That He is preparing something greater than you can imagine? We often ask God for small solutions to our problems, but He wants to give us something much bigger. And you? Are you prepared to receive more than you asked for? Are you willing to wait the time necessary for God's blessings to be fully manifested? While we wait, God works in our hearts. It shapes our character, strengthens our faith, and prepares us for the blessings to come. What do you think God is trying to teach you during this time of waiting? Is He calling you to trust more? To rest in His promises? Or perhaps to develop more patience and perseverance? Every challenge we face is an opportunity for growth. And every time we wait in faith, God rewards us with something much greater than we imagined. Life is made of seasons. There are times to plant and times to harvest. There are moments of waiting and moments of action. What station are you in now? Are you in the middle of a storm or in a calm phase? Regardless of where you are, one thing is certain, God is with you. He never leaves you. If you are in the midst of a struggle, remember that God has already prepared victory. If you are in a moment of peace, remember to be grateful and prepare for the next achievements. At each season of life, God offers us something. It could be a learning experience, a new direction, or even a necessary break to recharge our strength. Have you ever thought that sometimes the pauses that life imposes on us are opportunities to hear God's voice more clearly? When we're always busy, always rushing around, it's easy to lose sight of what really matters. Maybe this moment you are living, this forced pause, is God's way of telling you, stop for a moment, trust me, I have something to show you. Have you ever stopped to think about it? What might God be trying to tell you while you wait? In our busy lives, we often let worries dominate our hearts and minds. But God calls us to surrender everything to Him, to cast our anxieties on Him, because He cares for us. Have you truly trusted Him? Or do you still carry the burden alone? Remember that God is always there, waiting for the moment when you decide to trust Him completely. Sometimes the solution to our problems doesn't come in the form of a grand revelation, but simply in the decision to trust and rest. Resting in God is not inactivity, it is faith in action. Have you allowed Him to carry your worries, or are you still trying to resolve them all on your own? Sometimes we think that trusting God means that everything will be resolved immediately, but the truth is that trust is often built during the process. The more we trust, the more our faith grows. And the more our faith grows, the more we experience the peace that comes from knowing that God is in control. Have you ever experienced this peace? That feeling that even though the world around you is falling apart, everything will be okay because God is in charge? It is this peace that He wants to give you now. Maybe all you need to do is stop and say, Lord, I trust you. It's curious how often we are responsible for prolonging our struggles simply because we hesitate to give everything to God. We tend to think that we need to figure things out on our own, that we should have all the answers. But God never asked this of us. He just asked us to trust Him, to follow His path and let Him take care of the rest. Are you willing to give it all away now? 
Or are you still trying to control things your way? True freedom comes when we let go of the reins and allow God to guide us. Maybe right now you are facing a big challenge. Maybe it's something that has consumed your energy, your thoughts, and even your faith. But I want to remind you that there is no problem too big for God. And if He is allowing you to go through this, it is because He has a greater purpose. Have you ever stopped to think that maybe this challenge is an opportunity for you to get closer to God? To develop a deeper faith, a more solid trust? Often, in the midst of difficulties, we think we are alone. But God is always with us. He sees every tear, hears every prayer, and knows every desire of our hearts. And He promises that when we seek Him with all our hearts, we will find Him. Have you truly sought God? Or have you let the distractions and worries of life take you away from His presence? This may be the time to return, to realign your heart with His, to renew your faith and hope. God constantly calls us to return to the center of His will. He knows that, along our journey, we often get sidetracked, lost in the worries and chaos of everyday life. But He is always ready to welcome us back, to guide us back to the path of peace and prosperity. What area of your life do you feel needs realigning with God? Where do you need to return to fully trusting in His plan? It could be in your finances, in your relationships, in your health. Whatever it is, God is waiting for you to give it to Him. If you are waiting for an answer from God, know that He is already at work. Even if you don't see it, even if you don't feel it, God is preparing the ground for His will to be manifested in your life. And what God has for you is much greater than you can imagine. Remember, He is capable of doing infinitely more than anything we ask or think. Isn't that amazing? Are you prepared to receive the more that God has in store for you? How many times throughout our lives do we limit God's blessings simply because we don't believe He can give us more than we ask for? When we approach God with expectation, He surprises us. But this requires that we have faith, that we trust in His timing, in His plan. What kind of blessing are you expecting today? What if I told you that God wants to give you something even greater than what you asked for? How would you react? The point is that we often limit God's action in our lives with our own lack of faith. We ask for little because we think we don't deserve more, or because we don't believe it's possible. But God is not limited by our expectations. He wants to surprise us, He wants to show us that His generosity goes beyond what we can imagine. And you, are you ready to be surprised by God? Or are you stuck in a limited vision of what He can do in your life? It's time to open your heart to the impossible, to allow God to work in ways you may never have thought of before. He is the God of the impossible, and there is nothing too big for Him. So why not ask for more? Why not believe that He wants to bless you beyond what you dreamed of? Perhaps today is the day to elevate your prayers, to ask God not only for the necessary, but for the extraordinary. And when He answers, will you be ready to receive? Often when God blesses us, it's easy to forget where those blessings came from. In good times, we tend to relax and forget the source of all good things. But God calls us to be grateful at all times, to never lose sight of the fact that everything we have and are comes from Him. How is your heart in relation to gratitude? Have you been grateful to God for everything He has done? Or have you been focusing more on what is still missing? Gratitude is a powerful act of faith. When we are grateful, we recognize God's hand in our lives and make space for Him to continue to bless us. What would your life be like if, starting today, you decided to be grateful for every little thing, for every detail? Maybe you're waiting for a big blessing, but have you ever stopped to be grateful for all the little blessings that surround you? 
What God expects of us is that we live with a grateful heart, always recognizing His goodness in our lives. Gratitude transforms our view of the world, makes us realize how blessed we already are and prepares us to receive even more. Are you ready to live a life of gratitude? How about starting now, thanking God for something you may have forgotten to value? Sometimes the key to opening new doors in our lives lies in the gratitude we forget to express. Have you ever thought about how many times God has prepared the way for you and you because you are focused on the challenges ahead, fail to be grateful for what has already been achieved? What do you think would change in your life if you started every day to find at least three things to be grateful for? Gratitude is a form of worship, it is recognizing that everything we have comes from the hands of God. Have you ever asked yourself, am I living a truly grateful life? When we develop a mindset of gratitude, we begin to see things in a different way. Problems that once seemed insurmountable come to be seen as opportunities for growth, and blessings we once took for granted take on new meaning. What have you taken for granted in your life? What if you decided, right now, to be grateful for everything, including the things you might consider small or ordinary? Gratitude makes room for the supernatural. When we give thanks, we align ourselves with God's heart, which is generous and good. And it is in this alignment that miracles happen. Often, we are so focused on what we don't yet have that we fail to realize how blessed we have already been. But what if, instead of looking at what's missing, you started looking at everything that's already been achieved? How would this change your perspective? Life may present us with challenges, but God calls us to be grateful in all circumstances. This does not mean that we should ignore difficulties, but that we can find reasons to be grateful even in the midst of trials. Have you ever experienced being grateful during a difficulty? What was that experience like for you? What changed in your heart when you adopted this stance? Sometimes the simple act of giving thanks in the midst of the storm opens up paths we couldn't see before. God works in our hearts through gratitude. The more we give thanks, the more He shapes us to see the world through His eyes. And when we see the world through God's eyes, we begin to notice opportunities that previously went unnoticed. Are you failing to see something that God has already placed in your path, simply because you are focused on the difficulties? What if you decided, from now on, to be grateful even for the challenges, believing that God is using everything for your good? How would this change the way you live? The Bible teaches us that all things work together for good for those who love God. This means that even difficult moments have a greater purpose. Have you ever stopped to think about how the challenges you faced in the past prepared you to be the person you are today? Maybe, at the time, you couldn't understand why certain things were happening. But now, looking back, you can see God's hand guiding every step. Isn't it amazing to think that God was always in control, even when it seemed like everything was falling apart? What's going on in your life right now that you don't fully understand? Is God shaping you, preparing you for something greater? What would your life be like if, instead of resisting difficulties, you embraced them as opportunities for growth? What might God be trying to teach you right now? Sometimes God's greatest gift comes disguised as a challenge. But you need to have eyes of faith to see this. Are you willing to see beyond appearances and trust in divine purpose, even when you don't understand everything that is happening? Many times, we ask God to remove our problems, but He wants to teach us something in the midst of them. Maybe you are asking to leave a difficult situation, but God is calling you to stay and learn something important. Have you ever considered that sometimes the miracle is not the removal of the difficulty, 
but the transformation that happens within us as we face it? Is God trying to mold something in your character, in your faith, that can only be strengthened through this process? Of course, no one likes to go through difficulties, but when we look at life through God's eyes, we begin to understand that each challenge has a purpose. God is preparing you for something greater. He did not call you to a life of mediocrity, but to a life of abundance. And part of that abundance is the growth that comes through trials. Are you ready to grow? Are you willing to allow God to use even the difficult things to shape you and prepare you for the blessings He has for you? True faith is not that which only exists in moments of victory. True faith manifests itself in the midst of storms, when everything seems to be falling apart, but still, you trust that God is in control. Have you ever experienced this kind of faith? That kind of faith that keeps you going, even when circumstances say otherwise? It is this faith that God is calling you to develop. An unshakable faith, which does not depend on what is happening around you, but which is based on the eternal promises of God. And what are these promises? God promised that He would never abandon us. He promised that He would be with us every step of the way. He promised that in the end all things would work together for our good. These promises are more than just pretty words. They are eternal truths, grounded in the unchanging character of God. Have you been holding on to these promises? Or have you let circumstances dictate your faith? Maybe today is the day to remember what God has already said about your life and decide to trust Him again with all your heart. We are often quick to doubt and slow to believe. But God calls us to live a life of faith. He calls us to be quick to trust and believe in His promises, even when everything seems otherwise. How about taking that step of faith today? How about deciding that no matter what is happening around you, you will trust that God is in control? Because the truth is that He is. And the more we trust, the more peace we find. Are you ready to live this peace? The peace that God offers is not the absence of problems, but the certainty that, in the midst of problems, He is with us. Have you ever experienced this peace? That feeling of tranquility that comes, not because everything is perfect, but because you know that God is taking care of everything? If not yet, this may be the time to ask God for that peace. All it takes is a simple prayer, Lord, I trust in you. May your peace fill my heart, even in the midst of the storms. And believe me, he will answer you. When we give our worries to God and let him guide us, our lives change completely. We stop being dominated by fear and begin to live by faith. What area of your life do you need to surrender to God today? Where are you still trying to work things out on your own when you should trust him to be in control? Maybe it's time to let go, to surrender and trust. God is waiting for this. He is ready to guide you, to bless you, to show you the way. But you need to take the first step and trust.